Let's clean up that Steam folder, shall we? Hey! Nookie Crush here and welcome to my channel and a quick tutorial. Like guys, this is literally going to be super quick, but I had to share it with you guys because I think it's freaking awesome. It's kick-ass. Um, you know your folder, your Steam folder keeps getting so bloated and so full of cuck. And I was just digging around and I just everything's got redistributable files in it. Like there's tons of crap, direct X, all this junk taking up tons of space inside that folder. So um, I was digging around and some guys were suggesting A, B, and C and whatever else. And I found this thing called Tiki One Steam Cleaner. Man, is this thing cool. So I'm going to get straight to it. All you need to do is go open up your browser. Just type, type in it. So it's Tiki T I K I One uh, Cleaner. And you could just enter it and just Google it. It'll probably give you up. It should be at the top of the list. Um, it's released by a guy named Jonathan Limitage. If you just quickly open the site, it is uh, hosted on GitHub, which is pretty cool. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I'm assuming it's because my Steam is updating, which I think it is. So let's just close that. Okay, so Tiki One Cleaner. All you have to do is download the portable zip and you can just run it from within the zip file and extract it, which I've already done. So it's very, very easy. Once you have downloaded it and saved it somewhere, extract the file uh, and open up the folder, go to the Tiki One Steam Cleaner, and all you have to do is run the actual file which is pretty cool please wait loading and then all you need to do is locate steam either uh, automatically or you can also add custom folders to it which is really cool because what I literally did is I put all my main uh, folders in here my e drive x drive and my d drive that have most of my game well actually all my games in them it's a couple of ssds in a, in a hard drive and I literally let just let it uh, locate um, the files and remove all the crap so all you do is once you've put that information in there's your steam folder add in your custom ones and just go search and the thing will just blast away i'll probably just uh, fast forward okay i'm back quickly as you can see it's actually gone and it went through all of the directories and pulled out um, all the redistributable files. Now, the, I've already done this before and that's why I was blown away and I wish I didn't click uh, clean uh, because that actually saved me up 12 freaking gigs of space, guys. 12 gigs uh, out of my drives um, and that's including my D drive, X drive and E drive, uh, all of uh, Steam, Origin, uh, GOG and any other redistributable files that are on your drives. I will maybe don't recommend doing it on your main C drive in case you need those things for certain apps and stuff but it really depends on where you install the stuff but you can always go and manually download these things again from the internet so um, once it's done here it's already picked up another 309 megabytes that's not a ton but it did remove look you got Unreal Tournament, Rage these are things that I reinstalled recently so it's removed all this crap and I just close the file and that's it Hey, freaking fantastic. So if you guys want a cleaner, highly recommend it. This gets a Nookie Crushes thumbs up. Brew up. Um, there is another alternative called, actually it's just called Steam Cleaner. It's also on, um, on GitHub. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link of these obviously in the in the description for you guys so it's easy to find. Um, but yeah, it's it's not it's quite kind of outdated. It does the exact same thing, but um, it seems like Jonathan's uh, program seems to be the go-to one. So thanks for joining me. Uh, like and subscribe if this helped you guys out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mwah!